makes fun of the foods I eat because he uh, doesn't care about the quality of life and uh, <laughs> uh, and he's jealous of the fact that I am going to outlive him. No, actually, he probably is not jealous at all. I don't know because I'm no fun when it comes to food. I think that's the truth. If you are an artist and you are trying to get your music out there, I think the most important advice that I ever got that I would pass along is to play anywhere and everywhere. Don't turn any gigs down because especially as you're getting started, you can practice in your basement or in your garage all you want, but uh, there's nothing that can replace playing in front of people and learning and honing your skills that way. You have to deal with your nerves, you have to deal with people who don't care or aren't listening, and that will really come into play the longer you play music and you'll get better and better. So that's, don't turn down any gig. Hey, Carrie Noble. How many times do you floss a day? Uh, how often do I floss? Not enough, because you can never floss enough. But luckily, hold please. In my purse, I carry floss with me so that I can be ready all day. I probably floss three times a day. Brian, no. Do you like waking up early? I'm doing the only thing I ever wanted to do for a living, so in that sense, I love it. But the hours are obviously terrible. My natural body clock is late at night. I get up every morning at 3.40, and I go through what I refer to as the five minutes of rage and tears, uh, where I can't believe this is my life, that <laughs> what am I doing up at 3.40 in the morning? But then I get a shower, I get a cup of coffee in me. I actually love working with Carrie Noble. I love doing morning radio. It really, it's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. So once we get past those first couple minutes, then it's actually the best thing in the world. Uh, I'm going to have to say that it is probably Stars, Common Stars by One Republic, um, because I, well, the first time I heard it, I just thought it was just another generic sort of bouncy, dancey song by One Republic, but Ryan Tedder is a genius. He is a mastermind. He's the guy who wrote and produced my single favorite Adele song, Rumor Has It, and this one has sort of that same insistent thump, and you get into it, and it builds, and then by its peak, it's just impossibly amazing, and it's, uh, it's a great, great song. Oak, if you could describe your childhood to a stranger, how would you do it in three words? Describe my childhood to a stranger in three words. Supported. Magical. Brief. Okay, are we ready? Were you recording already? Paul Fletcher, what is the coolest thing that has happened to you since returning to Minnesota? There's all kinds of really cool answers I could give, but I would have to say baby girl. Baby girl being born takes the cake. Um, being in the press box at the Excel Energy Center for a wild game was pretty cool. I have, actually. Wow, that's an excellent question. Matt Hires did hook me up on June 27th at Maynard's uh, with Tampa Bay Rays hat. Since then, I've added this Pittsburgh Pirates hat, a Chicago Cubs hat, a Montreal Expos hat, and an old school, if you get this reference, then you get Fletch points, an old school brown and orange Tony Gwynn Padres hat. If I could go anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? That is, actually, that is, I, I, it, split second calculating in my brain, that is impossible to answer with just one place. It would simply have to be a tie for three places because I have different reasons for all of them. I always wanted to go to Maui. Maui seems like paradise on earth, so that would be in there. Uh, we have, we struck up friendship with some people from Australia at a Pearl Jam show randomly in 2010. And we've been really good friends ever since. We've just stayed in touch uh, across the interwebs. Um, so Australia would be also on the list. And I can be very specific with the third one, and that would be the Cliffs of Dover, just because they're the Cliffs of Dover. If you visit London, I would say get yourself to a fish and chip shop. Okay. Oh my god, so totally this dude was into me and I just wasn't feeling it. He just Oh, it was so annoying. I am finna do this right here, dear girl. I don't know so <laughs> Where will I 
live and what will I do? I really have no idea. Um, I guess I'll just play it by ear and wherever life takes me. Um, hopefully it's near family and friends. And again, I really have no idea what I want to do in the future, but I know what, I, what I'm doing right now is exciting and fun and I'm learning and I love my coworkers. So um, I'm just gonna roll with it. What are you gonna be for Halloween? Well, I'm probably gonna be a ninja because I'm already halfway there. All I'm <laughs> <laughs> Paul Fletcher's in the background. I'm halfway there. All I need is some tight, skin tight black. I don't know what is. What do you put it? Spandex. And I can. Hey, stop getting around. <laughs> I can scale walls and all that good stuff.